Good day viewers, P. Walpar here. In keeping with my policy on repurposing things, I've been rooting in junk drawers. I took these two curtain rods, one curtain rod, cut it in half, made two different pieces. And I thought about using that. Put it like right here on the... Anyway, right about there and bolting it on both sides. And I can, I got these uh, Venetian blind hangers, something in the junk drawer. Just a good metal bracket. I can cut it off right there and just make an angle iron bracket for right there. Drill the hole a little bigger. Raise that up and put a bolt in it. When you raise this up, it would hinge it. And that probably will work on these curtain hands. Rod is kind of flimsy, and I don't think it's really going to tighten good. So I had these things that I use for my whirly gigs I made here some not too long ago. I don't have one long enough, but I got two scrap pieces here that I can get one device by overlapping them and bolting them. I can bend it right along in here. Bend it across there and bend it down this side. And it would fit up there a lot better and give the plastic some support. Now I've already clamped a piece on here. A little plastic clip that holds the plastic plate in there. It's only got about an eighth of an inch gap right there. But I clamped a piece on there a while ago. And turned it around like this and I was able to take the clip off. If I can't get the clip off to put the glass in there, I can always unbolt my bracket that I got on there. I don't want to do the glass until last because I don't want to mess around and break it. But you got to be able to clean the glass from time to time. So when I cut out the back of my thing, I'm going to have to cut out just about the whole back. Enough where a person can get their hand in there and clean, you know, when you let it down like this, put your tissue or cloth in there and wipe the glass off. I had thought about just a round hole for the camera, which would work, but you couldn't get in there to clean the glass. Nobody wants to disassemble this thing every time you use it. So that's my plan of attack today. Um, you gotta remember when I'm building this, it's just a prototype. And everything I do about it is subject to change or modifications. But I like this idea here. Let's take and get the right measurement. I don't need a whole lot hanging over here. Drill a hole and put a bolt right there. It'll be up off the table just a little bit because I don't want it to bind when you lift it up. So let's bend this thing. I sure wish it was long enough to go all the way around. It's not. But I got this piece here, I can splint it together. It'll work until I get to the lows and buy a better one. Anyway, that's my plan of attack for today. Let's put it in the vise and bend it right there. Where's my hammer? Gotta go find my hammer. Well, I didn't find my big hammer, but this one's here. I don't want to go to the garage. I not seen that hammer in a while.
George, we're getting there. It's twisted. Let's untwist it a little bit. Still twisted. Just eyeballing it. Sometimes eyeball is close close enough. Hmm, we need to open it up just a little bit. A little bit too snug on the plastic. My George, it slid right on there pretty as you please. If I had three more inches, I wouldn't need another piece of metal. All right, we got plenty of bolts. Straighten that out a little bit. Okay, my friends, I got the whip perfect now. It's about as sharp as I am. We gotta find a sharper drill bit. We'll get back to you when I get all these holes drilled. All right, I've been through a half a dozen drill bits trying to find one that'll drill. Freight not got a whole lot to say about their drill bits, do they? This is taking a while to drill these dang holes.
Well, I succeeded in drilling all my holes with my cheap, dull drill bits. Put two bolts in there just so that I'll have more strength. We're going to cut it off right about there with an angle grinder. All right, my friends, to get my holes in my plastic drilled absolutely exactly matching my holes, I've got it clamped on there close to the edges I can get it. There's a good chance my plastic will break. Well, let's go for it. Now let's put some pressure on it. There's one hole. We'll do them all and then I'll come back. thought about putting a full length strip of wood back there to help support that plastic but it's not gonna be that much pressure on it. I just got a, a washer on the inside of each one to give the plastic a little support now we gotta do is cut off that other leg and make it but we need one more bolt and one more hole drilled two more holes drilled Looks like I was off about an eighth of an inch here. But then again, maybe when they poured the light bright, it was off a little bit. Most likely it's me that's off. Look at that, my friends. We bolted a light bright to a bracket. We got to get the angle grinder after this booger beer. How much leg I got sticking up over there? There we go. Just shy of three quarters. We'll make it three quarters because the magic marker is going to take up that much.
Ah, oh, today's work has took up more time than I thought it would. But I'll show you what I've accomplished. I got my bracket all bolted to my light bracket. Got my angle bra brackets drilled out and attached. A couple of my screws here are too long. I got to decide where to bolt it down to the wood. So I haven't secured that yet. But basically it's gonna hinge up like that. No, no basic about it. That's what it's gonna do if it works. I'll have to slide it back and forth with my camera attached to get it in a proper spot. But I did get quite a bit done today. My batteries have gone dead on my drill. But I got the last hole drilled by sticking with a weak battery. Hopefully I can get my plastic plate out of there. If I can't, I'll sure enough take the metal brackets back off. We gotta mount that window pane in there next. Or oh, not next, we'll save that for last. Before I quit. I'm almost positive I'm gonna have to put a block under my camera to make it higher, but I got plans for that too. Yeah, we're definitely too low with the camera. Looks like the next project is gonna be building a block assembly to raise the camera up about three inches. That'll, that'll come next. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. It's P. Wall Parsons. Y'all have a good day.